friends and uh, welcome. Today I have here a copy of a beautiful work of art. Uh, it's called uh, La Bella Principessa or The Beautiful Princess. And um, this uh, copy of the work of art um, for it's a portrait of a young lady, probably in her teens or early twenties, portraited in a profile. In, in profile, and um, she uh, and in a Renaissance attire, she's uh, wearing a beautiful costume uh, and uh, hair style that reminds us of the Renaissance uh, uh, in Italy. Uh, specifically, uh, this painting can be located in the between the very hand, the very end of the 1400s uh, and the very beginning of the 1500s. In Italy, in the northern part of Italy. Um, and uh, as we can see, she is uh, uh, wearing a beautiful costume and nice uh, hairstyle, and she could afford a painting, a portrait, so it means that she belonged to court, to a rich family. Uh, and not everybody could have this uh, uh, beautiful uh, dress and hairstyle at the time, neither afford it portrait done. So we have always to remember to keep perspective in the history and know that what we have and what we see of the history is not always all that it was. So this said, uh, I wanted to be a little bit in tune with that, so I have uh, myself uh, um, set up uh, in a way to be more harmonic with the subject that I'm presenting. Um, this painting has been uh, done on a vellum. It's a colored chalk and uh, ink and pen on a vellum. And um, well, a vellum is a kind of parchment, uh, so it's a prepared animal skin. Uh, and vellum is a very high quality parchment. It means that it's done with the calf skin. And it's uh, incredible the uh, beauty of this um, portrait and you know, how uh, nicely it's been done with just colored chalks and ink and pen on that. Um, this uh, work of art has been uh, discovered recently, uh, only in the uh, in 2009, was uh, discovered and brought to the eyes of the public in 2009, and it has been attributed to Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, now, this authenticity is disputed. It means that um, while somebody believes that a work of art has been uh, uh, executed by Leonardo da Vinci in the Renaissance, some other believe it's a forgery, and uh, it means that uh, it has been executed on a vellum and of that period, of the Renaissance period, but uh, it has been done by somebody in uh, the 18th, later on in the style of Leonardo da Vinci, but uh, maybe in the 1800s or the even 1900s. But mostly it is believed to be authentical and to be a Leonardo da Vinci. Many studies have been done on this uh, work of art and uh, um, studies like uh, carbon dating, fingerprints, and the analysis of the style, of the proportions. I have read that. Uh, um, the proportion of the rectangle is a, a square root of two rectangle that was the one used by Leonardo da Vinci. And also there are details like um, um, this um, interlace here uh, on the on the shoulder um, that reminds uh, and uh, seems to be the same actually this uh, same logo that Leonardo uh, uh, would use for his academy. So this study has been uh, done uh, very in the, in the very detail of it, uh, and so today it is uh, considered a Leonardo da Vinci. Um, it's uh, 
this um, work of art is uh, preserved in a secret location, um, maybe in Canada or maybe in uh, Switzerland. And uh, anyway, it belongs to a private collection. Now, uh, coming to the subject of uh, the portrait, um, we said that this uh, young lady belongs to some uh, rich family. And in fact, uh, it is believed to be Bianca Sforza. So, a member of the Sforza family that was uh, located in the northern part of Italy around Milan. Uh, if uh, she is Bianca Sforza, this uh, portrait was uh, uh, commissioned, was done uh, in the occasion of her engagement and the marriage with a gentleman of the uh, of the time. And um, so she would marry the same year of the portrait and she would die also the same year. Some believe that, uh, so it is disputed even the identity of this lady, and some believe that she's uh, uh, actually another member of the Sforza family or she's not even part of the Sforza family, but maybe of the Borgia family that is more on the uh, northeastern part of Italy, like Ferrara, uh, but mainly it is believed to be Bianca Sforza, again, after some studies and story and art historians that believe that, that she is Bianca Sforza, at least up to today. So, a Leonardo da Vinci work of art reportrating Bianca Sforza. Uh, now, I will uh, um, attempt to copy this uh, uh, beautiful work of art, but I will not use color chalks and ink uh, on vellum, of course. Uh, I will just use uh, canvas uh, and oil paint on canvas. So. Um, and uh, I will probably um, reinterpret some parts. Uh, um, I, not sure I will be able to go into the very detail of it. Uh, some part I might just want to interpret uh, just uh, for the fun of doing it. For example, this beautiful yellow warm background, I thought about giving it a gold background instead. Not sure, maybe I will try. Um, and so, you know, copying a, the work of a old master, it's always a, a beautiful experience. It's a very nice way to train your painting skills. So, and the, hopefully at the end you will find in your hands a beautiful painting that you can enjoy. Let's see. 